Hey guys, Paul here. In today's video I want to talk about Audenica, which is a music app that we developed for iOS and Android. And I also want to show you how you can use it in a professional music production workflow as a MIDI controller. So have fun! So what are we going to do? I would like to show you the most important details of the user interface of the Audenica. But first of all, look in the video description, there you will find plenty of more videos and also check out our other social media channels for more content. First of all, the setup that we use here, we have an iPad with Audenica on it. Um, it's connected via USB to a MacBook and on the MacBook is currently Cubase Pro running. This is a music production software and in Cubase we use two synthesizers called Omnisphere and Session Strings. And if I press now on Audenica, then um, they will receive MIDI signals from it and this will sound like that. And if you want to use a Windows PC or an Android tablet or phone, then you can also use that. If you don't want to use the um, MIDI feature of the Audenica because you don't have a laptop laying around or something like that, then of course you can also use the internal sound and this will sound like that. So the big innovation of Audenica is in its surface. You can play bass, chords and melody at the same time in a very intuitive way and I will show you how you can do that. If you have a look at the whole um, surface of the Audenica you will see it's split up in two sections. First the darker section on the left side, this is called bass section and it sounds like this. And the brighter section on the right side which is called chord section and it sounds like this. And if you listen closely, then you could hear uh, two sounds. Uh, first a high-pitched violin and in the background a little lower an orchestra. To show you that, I will let you hear uh, each sound of the Audenica one by one. First the bass, the chords and the melody tone. And the orchestra is what we call chord and the high-pitched violin is what we call melody tone. So the cool thing about this is now uh, how you can play and combine chords and melody. Um, to change your melody tone, um, you have to think about the Audenica in rows. And to show you that, I will cover up all rows except of one. And if I play now within the uh, row, for example from the left to the right, uh, you can hear that the melody tone is changing, but the chord tone is not. And it's nearly the same um, for the chords, but instead of thinking in rows, you will have to think in columns. To show you that, I will again cover them all up, except of one. And if I play in this column, let's say from the top to the bottom, you will hear that the chords are changing, but the melody tone isn't. And the best thing about this is when you now combine um, rows, columns and maybe even the bass um, to create new melodies in a very intuitive way. And now I will show you an innovative feature of Audenica, which lets you compose very emotional music. To show you that, we will have a look at a specific row again. If you take a look closer, um, you will find darker tiles and brighter tiles within a row. And the darker tiles represent so-called tension chords. And you can resolve this tension by moving to a brighter tile. And this will create a very emotional musical effect. Yeah. 
You can also increase this emotional effect. Therefore, have a look at our row again. You will find um, so-called dot tiles there. And they represent the end or the beginning of a scale. And they can also be seen as a emotional orientation point. This means if you want to play a melody that sounds more open, then you don't end on a dot tile. And if you want to sound it more closed and round, you end on a dot tile. To show you that, I will play the melody from a few seconds ago, which doesn't end on a dot tile. You can hear it sounds uh, more in an open way. And if I play it now again, but end on a dot tile, you will hear it sound more closed and round. You probably wondered what this letter in front of the row stands for, this A. Uh, first of all, it has a meaning for the whole row and not just for this dark tile here at the beginning. Um, but for this dark tile, it has the meaning that there is an A tone played, so it's an A bass. But it also represents the chords of the whole row. So if you play here, for example, you will get um, A major chords. But it also represents the melody tone of the whole row. So if you play on the dot panels, you will get um, A melody tones. And the A also represents uh, the name of the scale you can play uh, on the whole row. So if you play from one dot tile to the other, um, you will get an A major scale. But of course you uh, can't just play major chords uh, in the Audenica. Actually there are three different types of chords and to look at them we will have a look again at the whole surface. As you can see there are um, brighter rows with uppercase letters, those are the major chords. We have darker rows with lowercase letters, those are the minor chords. And there's a special case. Um, the row at the top of the surface is a so-called diminished chord. We went through all the important details of Audenica's surface now. And now you can take all those little pieces we gave you, put them together and create wonderful music. If you want to know how to create a song like the one that's currently running in the background, check out our channel for more Audenica secrets and also check out our other social media channels for even more content. And I would say bye bye.